And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Now the win obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Howard is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Olsen and at the point. And for the Pelicans, Zion at the four with Favors at the five. Then there's Lonzo Ball. Then it's Ingram. And it's Alexander Walker and at the shooting guard. It'll be Angeles off the tip. Here's lights out. He's covered by ball. James, the pass to Howard. To the middle. And stolen by Williamson. One-on-one fast break. A floater. And it's good on the way in. Alexander Walker's got the opening basket of the game for the Pelicans. Olsen passes to Howard. Here's lights out. And he makes the buck, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game, getting the ball inside early. Lakers shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for, around 80% on the season. That's good from Olsen. Now, here's Ball. And stolen by LeBron. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Here's Davis. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Here are the Pelicans with the ball. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last. Needed more fire and intensity tonight. Even if they don't win the battle of the ball, they have to put up a fight. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start this one far. Green finds Davis, and the shot goes down. Oh, the defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact with authority. Here's Alexander Walker. This is his last outing. Ball feeling it out a bit. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. That, that added muscle helping Lonzo there. Looking stronger and more confident on these takes. Olsen passes to James. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Now here's Ingram. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Clinton. Howard with the steal. And the Clinton throws it down hard. And James simply one of the best dunks in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Outside, ball. Back to Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for with hops. Olsen passes to Howard. LeBron outside. To the wing on the left. No good from Olsen. The Pelicans trail. Okay, well, let's go down to Didridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I got a few minutes to catch up with Alvin Gentry. This team hasn't had the best of luck against the Lakers this season, winning only once in their three previous meetings. 
When I asked coach about any adjustments for this fourth game, he said, we need to make this game drag on. The Lakers have an older roster, and the more we can push them late, the better we'll fare. We'll see if this approach of attrition does the trick tonight. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Alexander Walker after the made shot from Olsen. And it's Williamson missing. They're first after a perfect 4-for-4 four four start. Still, I really like the game plan they've come with. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right the rim. Now here's Williamson. He's coming off a 25-point against Cleveland. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Lakers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the stripe. Well, it is a long season. We know that. And the All-Star break provides Greg some respite. But how do you keep your body fresh as we're heading down the stretch here? Kevin, you, you got to listen to the training staff. I mean, first and foremost, teams are getting more advanced, measuring when players are wearing down and, and trying to protect them. All the tools are there. But you've got to take advantage. And the other thing is, mentally, you've got to be fresh. It's not just about your body being fresh. So sometimes you need to be able to shut the brain down in terms of the game. I mean, you know, Davis's reputation really does precede him. Every time he steps on the court, the other team starts to look nervous. Hayes, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Ball, no good. Los Angeles leading by five, and James throws it down. James is effective at getting near the basket. Always look to dunking it home. For New Orleans, they've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. And Davis sent back. Last break, the Lakers. Olsen passes to LeBron. And the dunk by James. Oh, powerful presence the court. It's hard to match James' strength inside. Now ball. 17 points in last game against Cleveland. And we gotta talk about his four steals on the That's a complete performance at both ends of the floor. Now here's Williamson. Nine point game. Lock at six. Back to ball. And they get it. And Davis sends it back. Well, you see how the Browns led the league in swats. <laughs> Not only the wingspan, but the awareness time out, time leading out. the game. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And first time out of the game, World Floss comes Cleveland in their last play. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting. Unable to get into it, kind of a rhythm whatsoever and sometimes you have game like that, but you just got to shrug it off and move on to the next one and the pelicans making a change here reddick is checked in and los angeles making a change here as well javel mcgee's checked in for dwight howard yeah this is where zion is improving taking advantage of the defensive attention he receives james right side Outside, Davis, from deep three-point range, good, and the assist goes to James. Davis has got seven. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Here's Ball, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on JaVale McGee. Oh, the size and skill set of Ball is unique, which is why defenders have a hard time guarding New Orleans making some changes here. Okafor comes in for Zion Williamson. And it's Josh Hart in for Ingram. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Caldwell Pope's checked in. And it's McGee with the jam. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control. And it's Okafor missing. He usually takes advantage of D like that. It's been a so layup. Well, there are a few players in the league that can match McGee's athleticism. I mean, his whole career, he's been a class above with his speed and lead. He'll make
make the most of it on both ends of the court. Ball kicks to Hayes. And Reddick, here we go. And Davis sends it back. Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Two minutes now played in the second quarter. James, the pass to Olsen. Williamson with the block. Well, what I love about Williamson, I mean, sure, he got, but it's the timing of the jump that makes him special as a rim protector. Ingham the three and Zion the four. J.J. Redick is out there with Hart. Hayes in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Pelicans' five. And see, Webb, you, you mentioned it with JaVale McGee. His vertical is off the charts. Oh, yeah, he can get to alley-oops, GA, that nobody else can. The length and bounce he has is jaw-dropping. I mean, same goes for his shot-blocking abilities when he times it up. And here's Reddick following the three from Olsen. And Reddick kicks to him. Over LeBron. And no good. And the Lakers go on the other way now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. They host the 76ers after this game. That game our first half of a quick two-game homestand. Here's lights out. A 23 game for him in the win against Memphis. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Ingram. Six points for him. Hayes. Here's Hart. Hayes trying to break free. Hart, no good. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 complete. Well, with as much defensive attention as AD gets, the passing lanes will be open for him. And those are the passes he needs to make. Reddick passes to him. And here's Hayes. He's guarded by Howard. Oh, wow. wow! Nice. Oh, forget about going long range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Hayes. Kicks to Ingram. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And there are a number of things that make Ingram a dominant force. But what really jumps out at you, the moment you see him, the length. Few wings in league history have had a century wingspan. Balls checked in for J.J. Reddick. Yeah, and the second pit 2016 draft out of Duke, bro. Brandon Ingram possessing a rare combination of length and shooting ability. Passes to Olsen. And ball comes to help. Here's LeBron. And fit off by LeBron. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. Oh, man, so unselfish. He's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. And that one's good, Ingram. And, Greg, you combine Ingram's length with his emerging skill set. He has got a long career ahead of him in the NBA. I mean, he certainly has tools. What we need to see now is the consistency year in, year out. It's one thing to reach that star status. It's another to become one of the true superstars in our league. And here is Williamson. Six points for him. Ingram five. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Here's lights out. He's covered by ball. Green passes to Olsen. Back to Green. Let's the three fly. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. You can't let that happen defensively. If Green gets the chance to catch and shoot. It's almost automatic. All right, let's catch up with our sign reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Lights out 
last game against the Grizzlies really contributed. He finished with 23 points, and along with what he did on offense, he had a big defensive night as well. And on top of that, the energy and hustle he played with was really impressive, which is why he was able to stuff the stat sheet. Kevin, we'll see if he can do that again tonight. Yeah, David, in stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. It's all about getting to a comfort zone early. When he does that, he can be very difficult to contain the rest of the way. Lakers leading by 14. Knocked loose. Stolen by Ball. Fires the three. The rebound by the Lakers. Howard's got four rebounds in this game. And it's Davis finished off. Oh, the timing on the play is exceptional. Davis arrives right on cue. New Orleans is on one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Williamson against Davis. Alexander Walker passes the ball. Clock at four. And it comes off the front of the rim. Uh, with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jumper. Oh, you love seeing James soar like an eagle. He's exceptional at rising up quickly for the alley -oop. Now, here's Ball. Eight points for him. Ingram, right Rebounded by the Lakers. Howard's got six rebounds here tonight. There's Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. Well-rounded, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. Timeout called here. Pelicans decide to talk it over. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Pelicans trail by 20. Ball with it. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Well, until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get any small. And the dunk by James. Well, part of their game plan was to block up and just stay focused. They were tremendous. I mean, excellent at both ends. Has them increasing this lead. The shot's good. Ball's got five points now in the quarter. This is big for Ball's overall development. He's to keep looking to attack and take on the deep. But he was hoping to avoid a third five breaker. Now, he might have to sit out until halftime. And the Lakers make change here. Bradley's checked in. Olsen passes to LeBron. Lakers working the ball around now. And they double up Davis. Pass to Olsen. Five to Shoots over ball. No good from Olsen. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting so far very efficient. All around, about 55%. Pass the ball. Here's Okafor. Back to ball. McGee with the block. Oh, this is McGee's role. He's out here to defend and the stifle shooters whenever can. And the dunk by James. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now, here's Ball. Ten points for him. He feeds Okafor. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Not the best. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We've got more in store for you right after this. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different. First two. So far, it has been a runaway.
What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Yeah, he, he's busting his tail, making his presence known. A, a great job defensively so far. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So the Lakers five right now. LeBron Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green out there with lights out, and it's Howard at the center position. Here's Davis, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's just a perfect focus right there. I like that he takes the hit and just keeps working to get to the bucket. That was his for Davis. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the last of three straight at home. For the oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. Howard kicks to Davis and stolen by Williamson. Passes it to Favors. Ingram against James. Bounce pass Ingram. The pass to Favors. Outside ball. Four on the shot clock. The shot that time, not on target. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. It's still early, but one for four to the half, that's a bad sign if you ask me. If they've got a can't-miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. Aggressive pass on the break. Shake up the court so he can get all the way to the bucket. For New Orleans, they have gone six of them from the line tonight. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. Oh, man. What's impressive about Green is for his career, he's shooting well over 40% from beyond. The arc. Outstanding. And here again, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. They double him with Williamson. There's Green on the assist by Howard. Howard's got three assists now in this one. <laughs> Just flying up and down the court. Nine straight in transit. Here's Alexander Walker. He has six. Pass the ball. Looking to get back on here. Green with the block. Oh, look. Blocking shots is one of Green's sneaky attributes. His exceptional sense of timing. And, and just the great job of controlling that defensive backboard, then getting out in transition. That's been the difference. Now here's Favors. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Looking to end the run. The second chance effort. It doesn't go for him. Good deep by Howard. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you need to be firmly in the driver's seat. Oh, great ball movement there. The Pelicans have gone as 25% from the field here in the second half for two of eight. Ball. The teardrop falls in. Ball's got 12. Such a smooth operator out there. Ball's floater is money when he puts the right touch on it. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now. We'll see if that continues the rest of the way. Here's Alexander Walker following the bucket by the Lakers. Davis goes in. He kicks it to ball. Pass to Alexander Walker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his seventh assist in the game. Olsen passes to Howard. Left side, Davis. And they double up James. And the wide open shot from Green. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Some changes for New Orleans. Hayes, he's checked in for Zion Williamson. 
And it's Josh Hart in for Brandon Ingram. Greg, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that? Or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, he's an all-around player. Lonzo's combination of size and playmaking ability at his position is truly unique. And he sinks the second. Los Angeles has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. And Davis throws it down. Oh, so tough to contain Davis when he's on a roll. He's got the physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Favors against Howard. And Favors kicks to Ball. Favors trying to break free, and the Pelicans miss again. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And he makes that one. And that's now 25 points for lights out. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Now, here's ball. 13 points in the game. Shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Favors banked in off the glass. What an excellent distributor Zoe is. I mean, he has a knack for getting it to his open teammates. And Los Angeles guys, uh, shooting has been just uncontainable 72 percent the assist is the key to that sequence i mean a great look to set him up well for new orleans shooting is leaving something to be desired just 36 percent here in the third quarter the drive by ball and he banks in the layup ball's got five points now this quarter Remarkable at sizing up screen and rolls. Uh, ball, he has a knowledge of how to break down the defense. It, it, it's special. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Here's Ball following the basket by LeBron James. Favors passes to Ball. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Ball's got 17 now. He has the size to be a factor inside. Ball doesn't shy away from testing his luck from there. Here's lights out. He's got 27. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. Here's Ball and the rejection by James. Oh, love watching James dominate on defense. An impressive rejection artist. He does all the little things. I mean, he does the big things. I mean, he's got them in front with another outstanding performance. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got nine. Outside ball. Passes it to Alexander Walker. There's the pass to Favors. Six on the shot clock and the call is going to be yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Ah, uh, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for Davis. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The Pelican shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Here's Alexander Walker. 
He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Reddick dishes to Okafor. Shoots over McGee. McGee with the block. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. That's the savvy veteran green. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They lost confidence along the way. Here's Alexander Walker. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. McGee's got four rebounds now tonight. And again, another assist. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Alexander Walker rebounded by the Lakers. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Here's lights out. He's got 31. Ogrefer comes in with the double team. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, you got to love the intelligence of James. He understands the game like few others. I mean, spots the open man with ease. The Pelicans shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. And it's lights out with the foul. That'll be a second foul. Of Now, here's Ball. He's guarded by Olsen. Ball, no good. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's good from Olsen. And he makes both from the line. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olney, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. So long.